The third part of your book deals with emotional and, and, and mental health. I think a lot of people still see a disconnect between that and how it can affect you physically. Uh, talk about the connection there. Well, let's think about things that are um, really basic. So if you're anxious or troubled or don't have peace of mind or have inner conflict, you're not going to sleep very well. You need seven to nine hours of sleep to have normal immune function normal inflammatory control, normal hormonal balance. So if you're troubled, then you're not going to get that deep rest. Uh, also, we know that when stress hormones are elevated, that immunity is, is decreased. And so there are direct physiologic impacts on whether or not we are at peace with ourselves and others in our lives and so it's very important to care for ourselves in that way and take some time every day maybe you want to write in a journal maybe you want to as a family all say what you're grateful for at the mm -hmm. dinner table so that you begin to uh, tend to the emotions and the psyche and the spirit mm -hmm.